Rolling Plains Ag Compost Incorporated is a, a company that uh, pretty much makes compost is out of feedlot manure and uh, make it into a product that's uh, useful as far as building up the, the, the nature of the soil and we're in an extensive farming area so there's a great deal of demand for our product and uh, We've been at it for about six years, and and uh, it seems to be growing every year. For cattle that are on feed, in those feed, in those seven feed yards, there's something over 200,000 head, and most of these feed yards range from 40,000 head up to 50 or 60,000 head, which is typical of this area, and. Um, these ca uh, the cattle on feed are usually on feed for about 90 to 120 days and they excrete about 1.8 tons of manure during the time that they're in that feed yard uh, on that feeding program. So you can kind of get a grasp of an idea of how many tons of manure it takes. And normally it takes about five tons of raw manure to make one ton of compost. And, and of course this is a big advantage because we the Texas A&M studies show that the one ton of compost is equivalent to the nutritive value of five tons of raw manure, which saves a lot of freight and hauling. Most of the feed yards furnish us anywhere from 20 to 25, maybe 30 acres for a laydown yard on, on their, within their or the confines of their operation. And any water that runs off of that compost or laydown yard has to run into their lagoon or retention structure that they've constructed to catch all the water that runs off of that to keep from polluting, uh, getting any of the manure or pollutants over on their neighbors. Basically, uh, they're hauled out there in, in uh, bobtail dump trucks, and uh, we just dump them in a row, and uh, sometimes we have to take a loader and trim the rows up or they'll fit our machine, but uh, we start that process, we, we temp them, <coughs> And then I start turning them, and usually turn them six times uh, every six days. You, you try to turn them, and uh, of course we temp them every time, right before we turn them. Try to, and I keep charts and and everything on the temperatures and moisture. <laughs> It's usually there, I'd say, about 12 to 14 foot wide and maybe five to six or seven feet tall. Of course, after they're turned, why well, they they kind of have a tendency to flatten out. You're looking at, you know, six weeks, six, seven weeks usually from the time it hits there. And, you know, if everything works right and we can, you know, depend on rain and, and everything, uh, uh, six, seven weeks, we're ready to put it in the field. Now, most of this goes to farmers. People either, we, we're in a, in a vast farming area and we farm cotton, peanuts, corn, milo, wheat, uh, a lot of grazing programs. Those are most where the customers are used. We do sell some for golf course material to the, in, to the uh, people in the Metroplex down the Dallas-Fort Worth area. This is a special product that we screen. It's screened and has a very high quality product for, to put on golf courses, especially in the Dallas-Fort Worth area.